that has taken more than 20 centuries to evolve. But if in one word, before the signal goes up for me to stop being a cinema star, I might say what my country says to you. It says in the words of the old Hindu prayer that rises up in every home, night after night, Shanti, 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 peace, peace. Peace. And I think whether it be the old world or the new world, the whole purpose of our civilization is to create and to sustain those conditions of peace for our own homes and for the homes of the nations of the world. of the new world. I arrived only last night past that Statue of Liberty that stands as a guardian of your freedom at the gateways of the new world. And with the best intention in the world to feel unfamiliar in this new country, my spirit feels that it has come home to a new version of all things. But the one new experience that I am having in your country is to become for the first time in my life friends. I come to you from many thousand miles away as the ambassador of a very ancient country to the youngest nation in the world. It may surprise you that a country which you are taught to regard as conservative should have chosen a woman to be its representative and ambassador. But if you read or write the whole history of Indian civilization, you will realize that woman has been the very pivot of its culture, of its all its inspiration and of all the empathies of peace that have gone abroad for many centuries to the uttermost parts of the world. 